Oh, can you guys see me? Because I can't see myself. Why does this look so big on top of my head? Basically, it's okay, yeah. Basically, as we all know, I'm not a makeup artist, so this is not a makeup tutorial. It's a my everyday look. This is how I do my makeup. Wait, I'm so rude. Hi guys, welcome. I said every single <laughs> Every single video I'm going to make fun of myself because it's really funny. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're not then, welcome back. Like I never really do any makeup related stuff or like beauty related stuff. Um, unless it's like to review something. But today I'm going to show you guys my everyday makeup look. Meaning, this is what I do every single day and this has worked for me. I hope. And if I do something wrong, like you're not supposed to use that brush and you're not supposed to blend it like that. And you're never supposed to put it in that direction. Guys, I don't care. Like this is what I do on my face. It's not the right way, it's not the wrong way, it's my way. So yeah, just thought I'd show you guys, you know? I don't think there's any point of me like showing you the products I'm I don't know. Maybe you want to see the products I'm using. I was gonna ask you guys, but you can't respond, so first thing I start off with is my eyebrows, and I've done them off camera because they just need concentration. I actually really... Wow. Clearly they need to be redone because I'm not going to redo them, okay? I done them about two hours ago and done stuff in between, like cooked and stuff. And so that's a bit of... So I'm going to be using... By the way, my nails are still a hot mess. Still haven't sorted it out. Um, my life is a mess. I'm going to be using NARS in the shade Tahoe. I would love if this is upside down. Uh -huh, it's not... Ew, what is that? Anyways, I'm going to be using NARS in the shade Tahoe. I have two NARS. I have one in the shade Tahoe and one in the shade Syracuse. Um, this is going to be a bit difficult because Tahoe is like when I have a tan, which for some reason I actually still do have a tan. And then Syracuse is like my shade. But I pretty much prefer Tahoe because it's not that ashy. But guys, I wasn't sure if I should do like a chatty one or if I should just do it. I don't know because I don't actually know what I should speak about. I've been asking you guys to ask me questions so that I can film a um, q and I think that'll be quite cool because most of the times I get quite a lot of questions in the comment section but I don't um, reply to all of them. So I thought it would be quite cool if I could reply to everything in one video. And yeah, you guys have sent me in your questions pretty much. But if some of you haven't seen it, um, head over to my Instagram, I'll put it down below, or the community widget, the community section of my channel, and just put in your comments, like your questions, and a girl will answer it. I think I'm just gonna shut up and just let you guys watch, and every now and then I'll just butt in and talk to you guys. Next, I'm going to use Too Faced in the shade Sand. I don't know if this is called Too Faced or if it's called Born This Way. Um, let me know down below what this is actually called because when people ask me what concealer I'm wearing, I don't actually know what to say because I don't know if it's Too Faced, Born This Way or both, but yeah. Then I'm going to use a Maybelline Face Studio Setting Powder. Um, I just want to say that I absolutely effing hate this so much. 
Um, I normally use the banana powder in like a more yellow shade and this is just white as paper and just doesn't suit me. But I was desperate and I was in boots and this is all I can find. The yellow was sold out so maybe I'll have to deal with this now. I just wipe it off straight away because ain't nobody got time to wait around. Actually, that's light. I have plenty of time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I've decided that I'm actually going to be um, doing a story time. Don't know if it's the next video or the video after that. I'm going to be doing a story time of when I got pulled over on New Year's and nearly spent my New Year's Day in a cell. So yeah. I use NYX Sculpt and Highlight to contour. I love this so much. And I actually normally would have used the darkest one, but I actually like this one because I love it when my contour has a bit of like a peachy, orangey undertone. I don't like it when it's too, too dark because it looks a bit muddy on my face. I'm not gonna lie, I normally do my makeup better than this, I'm not even joking. I don't know why I feel so under pressure. I feel like bad people are watching me right now. <sighs> I know what I'm gonna do. I see all these like makeup artists do this, so I'm gonna try it. Why is it that when they do it it looks they're neat and when I do it it looks like I would draw on my face. I would literally just do um, eyelashes, like false lashes, and yeah. But I just put a tiny bit of mascara on. Okay, I don't have time to perfect these babies because falsies are coming on. Anyways, I'll be right back. Just gonna go get the lashes because I'm unorganized and I didn't breathe. I use Ior, which is honestly the best. I used to use Duo, and it was quite decent, but I feel like this one, it just dries really quickly. Yeah, the B one is on. Time for the next one. We move. My boyfriend says this is not how you do it. It is how you do it. He does the next thing where it's like, and I'm just like, you're doing too much. Like, are you having a car crash? It's like this. Obviously, the key is to like let it dry it for like 30 seconds before putting it on your eye. Oh my god, when I came out of the shower this morning, I didn't put deodorant on. Am I stupid? Done. Next. Why do I look so plain and boring? Anyways, next I do my lips. I think it's broken. So instead of like drawing it on like this, I have to like lay it flat. So if anybody's wondering like, what the fuck is this beat doing? This is why. Max Factor in the color. 14, a brown and nude. That is the finished look. Hope you guys liked it. So guys, if you viewed like my previous, my previous, my previous videos, you would have seen me speak about the fact that I done a big chop on my hair last year, and I'm now growing my hair back, 
And whilst I have been growing my hair back, I've been cheating a little bit. I've been using something called Inner You from Royal Life. This company sent me this um, a while ago. And it's just basically really helped boost with my hair growth because I feel like if it wasn't for me taking these, my hair would have taken a lot longer to grow. So what it is, it's basically hair, skin and nail supplement. I have naturally really weak nails and that's why I always go and wear acrylics. But I've decided that I'm actually gonna go natural for a while and just let my raw nails grow and get strong. And so I've been taking these. I, mean, I need to sort this hand up before I even talk about taking these, but I'm still taking them because first of all, I have bad skin. And I don't know if that's because of the makeup that I use, if like my skin is reacting badly to like a makeup product that I use. Um, my hair can get really brittle, really dry, and just break off really easily. My nails are just a mess, as you guys know. So this is what basically helps me to keep my hair skin and nails looking flicky. I've been taking them for that long, but the time that I have been taking them, I definitely see a massive difference. I feel like my hair is thicker and healthier and shinier. When I'm like brushing my hair, normally there'll be like clumps of hair that's coming out and I'm just like, what the hell? But ever since I've started taking these, I don't see that anymore. Obviously, like you're supposed to lose a bit of hair every single day for like new hair to come in, which is absolutely normal. But this has organic amala and ashwagandha. Don't know how to say it, but there you go. So these are how big the capsules are, capsules. This is what a capsule a capsule looks like. Um, it's not too big, I think this is doable. 30 in here. So you basically have, if you buy one, you have a whole month supply. It's got vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin B6, vitamin B9, vitamin B12, biotin, and there's also keratin in here, which is good for her. Also, one thing that is absolutely amazing is it's not, it is not just for physical appearance, like better looking nails, better looking skin, better looking hair. Yeah, that's amazing. And we all want that. But one thing that really stood out to me with this company is that not only does it tackle your appearance, but also, what's the word? It helps reduce physical, emotional, and mental stress, which is something I know a lot of us go through. And also fatigue. So I don't know, I have low iron, so I'm always tired. And I say this in all of my videos, I'm always really, really tired. And I need to sort that out. And I have sorted that out. I was actually gonna go to the GP to sort it out, but luckily Royal Life was really lovely enough to send me this amazing pot of goodness that is hopefully gonna help. I haven't taken it long enough for me to tell you guys if it's helped with my fatigue or not, but I just know that in terms of hair, it really has. Also, this is only for adults and you cannot take it if you're pregnant or if you're a nursing mother. Just putting it out there, don't wanna promote something and then somebody takes it when they're not supposed to take it. But I'm gonna put down the link to Royal Life website if you guys wanna purchase one. It really, really does work. It's all full of literally natural goodness. You guys can read for yourself the stuff that is in here. There's nothing in here that should not, that should not be entering your body basically. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos like chatty get readies with me, or I can do like an update, I could do like a going out look. Like this was my everyday makeup look. I can do going out, clubbing, dinner, whatever. If you want to see some glitter on these eyes, if you want to see some highlight on these cheekbones, I don't know, let me know. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you on my next. I hope my boyfriend doesn't watch this video because he's getting cussed. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!